Hello, hello everybody. Well, I haven't made a video in the last couple weeks and as you might tell my voice is kind of off but I have I was horrible sick with allergies and hay fever and all that fun stuff this time of year comes with coughing and choking till I was gagging and puking so and in the process lost my voice but this tank here I'm just gonna go over some I haven't made a video well I uploaded some other videos trying to do, did some shorts and played around with that but I didn't have a voice so that's why I was doing that so these are my snowball shrimp and this is the line I was fairly certain I was going to end up losing and what happened was I played around with making this a guppy tank and then had to dose all kinds of meds and the shrimp just started dying they don't like it and I was probably down to maybe 10 shrimp I don't know it's hard telling there's a pile of them I'll put some algae wafers in there and so I think it's safe to say the snowball shrimp are going to make a comeback no more guppy meds in this tank Look at all the look at all the little seed shrimp climbing on the walls of the tank. Look at all those little baby snowballs. So that's this tank makes me happy. Doing good. And then right next to here we have my backup blue dreams, the new blue dreams line. Still got some calling to do. I did a calling video on these guys and Looks like there's more. But this colony is just taking off. This tank is always a little cloudy for whatever reason, but it is what it is. And then we have my second blue jelly. This is my new blue jelly line. I started with my existing blue jelly line. I haven't called these guys yet, but they're about to the point where it's time. The good thing about these guys, there's not a whole lot of calling other than the ones that have little dark spots on them and there's usually not too many of them. This tank's been kind of a mess. It was full of hair algae and I've been slowly getting rid of that with peroxide. But we've got quite a few shrimp in here starting to take off. And I am in my quest to <coughs> get more shrimp stuff going. I'm going to start adding substrate to these tanks because the shrimp do better. They're doing well. They're doing fine without substrate, but I prefer the way they look. They look better. There's a buried snowball mama. Yeah, I just put these algae wafers in, so they're starting to really find them now. And then below that, we have the 75 gallon <coughs> Plucko Farm and Red Shrimp Tank. We've got lots of stuff going on in here. You do meow. Miss Meow Meow. What are you doing? And I think this is the last tank I did a tank redo video and there will be another one of those coming up. So if you're interested in seeing a tank redo, big trim, tidying up the plants and all that, I'm going to be doing that to my Skittles tank. Hopefully tonight, and the video will be out sometime tomorrow. That is my next project. Being as sick as I was last weekend, I did not even get my weekly maintenance done. So that's what today was. There's a lot of stuff going on today. I've been busy, busy, busy. 
I wanted to make this video earlier, but I just now got a break. After working on tanks all day, this Friday. This is the, tried to make it an orange tank and did not get all the old shrimp out. And instead of panic and freaking out about it, I'm just going to let these guys go and see what happens because there's some really cool mixed ones in here. So we're going to see. And then we'll go over to the fish tank closet area. Come in here. And then here's everyone's favorite. The blue jellies. Now I like what I'm seeing here. I did, I do have them out of stock on the website because I'm only selling what I breed. And there's a good amount of buried ones. So that's why I sold them out. And now, well I didn't sell them out. I just only had so many in on the website. And when those were gone, they were gone. And I want to give them, I've been two or three months off from selling. It's been about a month, I think. And there are lots and lots of little ones. That makes me happy. Buried one. They're all pretty evenly dispersed right now. I'll put the algae wafer in, but I guess there's two in there. There's lots of little ones. <laughs> when you guys was asking me when I'd have these back in stock and there's get, there's getting to be people a lot of you waiting so when I put some more on the website when I do I'll put a hundred on there and they, I'm guessing they probably won't last long that is playing there And then speaking of the website, we got orange and this tank needs cold out. But there's still lots of good orange shrimp in there. Speaking <coughs> of the website, there will be some changes on my shipping for the next couple weeks. This due to my work schedule. So any orders that come in by Tuesday morning this next week I will ship out Tuesday but then I've got to work eight days in a row so then that Friday that I normally would be shipping is going to be getting skipped these are the blue dreams and as you can see they stink and plecos I don't want them to spawn in here but they do and they just did and so there's a fresh batch of little baby bristlenose pluckos and this tank I really don't want them to spawn because I'm trying to make this a shrimp tank and I know hey you could just catch out one of the adults easier said than done this tank has reached a state of harmonious balance and if I tried to catch, that's not even one of the grown ones. That's one of the babies that I have failed to catch. So, <laughs> that has grown up. But there's a big old male and a big old female in here. And they spawn more than all my other pluckos. So I got the website stuff out of the way. And I did see, I saw a little baby, there's one, a new little baby super red, yep. Oh, there's another one. They must be coming out of the cave because these guys are really little. So that's cool. There must have been a storm system. The yellow shrimp are kind of making a comeback. They're not the greatest, but there's getting to be more in here. 
So that would be cool. I haven't really been taking any out because there's no... Oh, look at that. Look at that. We got a buried a yellow shrimp. That would be pretty cool if these yellow guys started doing good again. And there's a... Somehow, and water changes, I bet a blue jelly ended up in here. Because I go from this tank... I go from this tank to this tank when I'm draining. So I bet you that's what has happened. But I'm not really that concerned about it because I did have really nice yellow shrimp and then I just quit breeding. But now they're coming back. So in my one of my last videos I talked about making all these tanks except for a couple are going to be this tank and this tank are going to stay guppy tanks but then that's going to be a shrimp tank that's going to be a shrimp tank this was the first one i turned into a shrimp tank i made a video about it the red guys there are saw some buried ones in here today so it's doing good and then one of the things I talked earlier about how I've been super, super busy with all these tanks. And one of the things I did is, on these 20s, first of all, I got these cheap Aquanet power heads. They're supposed to be 250 gallons per hour, but they might be 150, but they've been good. The ones that are still on my 40 gallons are the ones that the original ones I bought. So these have been going for like two or three years now with no problems. But subsequent batches <laughs> I've had very different results. So we've still got, I decided uh, the ones, that, the power heads that quit working today, I made the switch to air so I was running airlines. I still have my AP40 pump and it makes more than enough air. I could probably run all my tanks off air. And that pump would be enough. So, then on this side, that, yeah, and then the bottom one here, the power head quit working, so we're back to running with air on that. But this might be the next tank I do. I think I might try to make another blue jelly tank. And then. I'm not sure at this. These are the full red guppies that just ain't doing that good for me. They're still going, but this tank used to always have red shrimp, so I'm gonna put more red shrimp in there. Long fin lemon blue eyes appearance. And some of their fry. And the panda guppies. And then we've got the bloody Marys. And the long fin green dragons and whatever spawns they produce. <laughs> this moss does so good in this tank because the way this light is, it likes to grow up. So, the next, I talked about the next thing I was going to be doing was redoing the Skittles tank. I've had the Skittles out of stock mainly because the tank is overgrown and I'm not I there's still a lot of shrimp in here and so I'm gonna get this tank cleaned out cleared out do some more calling and hopefully by the time I gotta leave for work for eight days straight those will be back on the website hoping so this rotala is just it's just a wall of rotala going diagonal all the way across the tank and then now this little crypt i put in here is getting huge <laughs> so we got that and these are more tanks i was getting ready they still have guppies in them but they won't anymore another tank the power head took a crap 
So these tanks have just been sitting here with no filtration at all for a while now. This one was another one. All these on this side failed. So this is going to stay a guppy tank. The pan blues, they're sweet. This is a shrimp tank. And that's all it's got in it now. It is the remnants of my black rose line. So, and then there's guppies in here. So they all got bombarded with chemical and guppy meds. And, but they'll bounce back. Guppies, they're going by. There's just random shrimp in here now. But they will be completely gutted out and I'm going to have to take the filter out, the sponge filter and the plants out, separate it, make sure there is no make sure there is no shrimp at all in the moss I'm going to have to take the actual tank itself and spray it down in the tub with hot water to make sure I don't get any stray shrimp left in there like I did with the orange tank that's the main thing I'm gonna have to be doing look at all these baby plecos that is the thing I'm gonna be dealing with making sure I get every single shrimp I know this is going to be green jade because that's what it, this tank used to be the green jade shrimp tank and this tank i'm going to leave it black and blue whatever black and blue shrimp some red some reallys just a fun mixed tank and then these will have lines as well probably do a bloody mary in one of these and i don't know this used to be an orange tank on the floor maybe it'll be an orange tank again And then we still have the green jade tank. So this tank, I've done a lot of work on today and yesterday actually. So this tank had a bunch of stray moss that had taken hold and grown up. This whole thing was covered in moss. This whole thing was covered in moss. Now this. Anubius is getting out of control. I'm going to do something about that. We got the long fin super reds, green jade shrimp. Cleaned out the filters in this tank today. So, that's this video is getting to be pretty long. I didn't mean for it to be just a quick fish room update video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.